What's up, everybody? King of FOMO here, coming at you with your daily crypto update. Make sure you follow me over there on Telegram. That's t.me slash King of FOMO1, as well as my chat, which is going to be linked in the description below. All right, so this video is going to be about why I'm not buying any more Uniswap DeFi altcoins at the current moment. Uh, I just kind of had to make this because a lot of people have been asking me to, you know, check out this new coin, check out X, check out Y, check out Z. And I've just basically been ignoring every single person that's been telling me to check out these coins because, again, I'm done buying them. Now, something that you have to keep in mind is, at least my personal opinion, something that you should always do is stay diversified and always follow the trends in crypto. And currently, the trends are very, very far from DeFi in the current moment. I've talked about before how DeFi has its ups and its downs, and this is most definitely a down for DeFi. And this is an up for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and a lot of these other top coins, right? We're in a current bull market, and if you got, I know that a lot of people are new, and we haven't really seen a bull market like this since 2017 start to kick off. So people don't really know what to do or what's going to happen or what's coming up or have a reference as to what's happening. But I have a little bit of a reference and I know that when we get to this period where tons and tons of funds are circulating throughout the top 10, top 100 coins, nobody with a brain is touching DeFi right now because nobody's touching DeFi right now. The reason why DeFi was so hot a couple of weeks ago was because everybody was doing it because crypto was moving very, very sideways and because people could see gains instead of keeping their funds in Bitcoin and Ethereum, they could easily get you know some gains from putting it in DeFi instead of going sideways the entire time. Since that's not the case anymore, and you can see that Bitcoin and Ethereum are both upwards of 15% or higher in the past seven days, of course, people are going to stick with these top level coins. If anything, if you're looking for uh, you know, some low market cap coins, like stay away from low market cap coins altogether. You can look at altcoins that have a much higher market cap that are in the top 100 or top 200. I mean, just taking a look like right here, if we arrange in the, the past seven days, uh, the top gainers for the past seven days, we have Ample Force, the top gainer. So that's one of the higher market cap coins, Yearn Finance, Band, RSR. So these are the coins that I'm personally looking at and trying to find a position in. But even right now, like it's difficult for me to even jump into any of these coins since they're up, you know, upwards of 30 to 40 percent. You know, that's not the best chance to jump into a lot of these things when they're up that high. But if I'm looking to jump into any altcoins, it's going to be definitely these higher market caps. Because again, nobody is touching low market cap altcoins. And it's pretty much just a dev feeding frenzy uh, for people that are naive enough to jump in and, and you know, lose all their funds within a couple of hours. That's, that's what I've seen happen to basically every single Uniswap altcoin. So if you guys have some new ones to recommend to me, don't bother recommending them to me because I'm waiting until, again, it's not that doesn't mean I'm done with DeFi altogether, but when the trend comes back to DeFi, then I will be back with DeFi as well. And again, staying diversified is also very important. I still have my passive profit platforms, my things like Wiseling and PGI Global and Cubitech. With all of those, I'm able to do withdrawals from there daily and to be able to get more Bitcoin and more Ethereum as time goes by and I can ride the, uh, you know, the bull market from there. Um, so th that's the that's the point of being diversified. It, it, the key is to not be stuck in one area. I know that there's a lot of people that they just trade Uniswap, DeFi, crap coins, like super low market cap coins. And, you know, since that's not a place to be anymore, they're stuck there and they're stuck, you know, potentially losing a lot from this DeFi space. But if you're diversified, if you try different things, try smart contracts, try passive profit platforms, things like that, you're going to be in a much better position. Some other, There are some other projects that have potential and where people, I know that people haven't completely abandoned it. And when we're looking at things like Wise Token, I know that people are still going to be on Wise Token because of what happened with Hex. So there are some exceptions to some of these coins that have been around for a lot longer, that have proved themselves, and that, ha that haven't just come up like yesterday. That just appeared yesterday and I was like the newest hottest coin on Dex tools. Uh, but when you have your coins like Wise Token or some other things that have been in the works for a while, people might take their chances with smart contracts and coins like this because they have a dev team behind them. But in all honesty, I just wanted to kind of clear the air right here uh, for people that are asking me about my opinion on all these different, um, you know, 
these different altcoins that are out. My opinion is I'm not really going to touch them. And if you're asking me when am I going to make a video about this coin or that coin, I'm probably only going to make a video about it if it does really well. So it's not going to be my video that makes it do really well. It's got to be doing really well before I talk about it if I'm going to jump in and talk about it at all. And that goes with any of the Uniswap DeFi coins. But even like if I'm looking at other coins that have promise in the DeFi space, Keeper is another one that has a lot of potential and promise. It's not just a crap coin that sprung up out of nowhere yesterday with no dev team. It does show progress in the, in the terms of the DeFi space. So we're looking at that. And, you know, even coins like, you know, Moonday, they came up with, a, with their new DAP yesterday. I think they had a little bit of a snafu with the gas fees in the DAP, so I didn't really have a chance to talk about it too much. Um, there were some positives that, that, that can come about with Moon Day, but again, I'm going to wait a little bit and see what happens as this DAP progresses. And, uh, you know, I'm, I might purchase a little bit more as it's on the low and as things continue with Moon Day and a few other things. But in all honesty, and this is the final time I'm going to say it, with DeFi, I am waiting overall. If you guys don't know, if you guys don't know why, like, why crypto is pumping right now, obviously some people are going to say election, this, that, and the other thing. But one of the big, big pumpers, I think, for the next couple of months is going to be Ethereum. So if you're asking me what's the next big Uniswap coin, I would say it's going to be Ethereum. If you guys don't know, if you guys aren't following the news, Ethereum 2.0 has officially kicked off. You can start staking Ethereum 2.0. Now, I don't really recommend anybody do that unless you've already been following ETH 2.0 for a while. Um, but as Ethereum 2.0 starts to become more easily adoptable and usable because they are updating the user interface so that you know people can understand it and use it much more easily, I think that we're going to get closer to that goal. So let me actually go to that website. So it's I think it's launchpad.ethereum launchpad.ethereum.org. And this tells you basically when Ethereum 2.0 is going to officially really kick off. They have to get to a certain number here. And so right now they're at 42,000 ETH is staking. And I think by the end of the month, I think like October 1st or something like that, they need to have 524,288 Ethereum in here staking in order to launch the mainnet. And when that happens, I do believe that Ethereum is going to kick off. I think I'm like, this is just my thoughts. I think that Ethereum is going to hit a new all time high. It's only about 50% of the way to its previous all-time high of $1,000. And when it gets there, I think the sky's going to be the limit in terms of where it can go from pricing from then on out. Because what, what ETH 2.0 is going to do after it launches and after uh, as it continues to get more and more developed and when it's officially put out there about a year from now, um, as that happens, you're going to have no gas fees. You're going to have a much more compatible system. Crypto will be evolved overall. And I think that that's when like Ethereum is one of the main reasons why institutions have jumped into the crypto world. And I think that that's going to be the major factor in what changes crypto into like, you know, some new paradigms way above Bitcoin at $20,000 is when you have your institutions jumping into the crypto space. Um, but with regular people, the problem with, with this current pump is I'm not getting overly excited because even if Bitcoin reaches $20,000 or even goes a little bit higher than that, um, it's susceptible to a major dump and going back down to, you know, 10,000 or right here where we're at 15,000 if it goes up to double the price because you still don't have institutional money and when you don't have institutional money, you're going to have, you know, your random neighbors selling out millions and millions of dollars of Bitcoin and dumping the price. Um, your institutions will most likely not uh, dump the price like that, like crazy, if you have a lot of institutions controlling the crypto space. I mean, there's positives and negatives to that. Obviously, you can talk about that. But I think that that's what's going to bring stability to a higher price overall. And that's what's going to, once once we have a little bit more stability in the crypto space with these institutions jumping in, that's when you're going to see a really, really big rise in the price of crypto overall. So those are just my personal thoughts about this current bull run. I'm not, I'm not getting overly excited, but I'm also... Um, I'm hopeful and, and optimistic for what's what's to come. But it's honestly, though, with Ethereum, that's why I, I sold most of my altcoins to keep my ETH. Like ETH is probably the place to be right now, especially since they're getting ETH 2.0 out there. Do your research on ETH 2.0. You don't want to be the person that's discovering ETH 2.0 after it's already done pumped and, and everything's already already up and you got to relearn while everybody else already knows what's going on. Uh, be there early. That's everything for today, guys. Just wanted to give you guys that update. I know a lot of people were asking me questions about coins and stuff. So catch you in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.